thought that some of you might get a kick out of seeing how I approach the colour correction for my talking head sections in all of the location fashion breakdowns that I've been looking at recently. So this is the timeline for the thing, it's a little bit messy, I've been working on this project for ages so it's a little bit all over the place. Let's forget about that for a moment and we're going to go into the colour correction panel in DaVinci just here. Now there's a few things going on. To start with, something that we need to address is basically all of the interview is one long file and I've chopped it up and I have um, made it coherent but it's still all the same file at its core. Because it's the same clip, rather than applying the same grade to every single instance of the clip, and then if I want to change anything, having to reapply it, I'm actually using a remote grade. A remote grade versus a local grade is pretty straightforward, and basically, a local grade is how it's set up normally. A remote grade means that anything that you do to any version of that clip throughout the timeline, any one of these, doesn't really matter, will then cascade across to all of the rest. If you're doing a local grade workflow, then each of those is treated as an individual clip in terms of color correction, and you would have to go through and change it for every single one of them. Now in this instance, the benefit of that is if I have a look that I like and I want to just tweak a couple of little things, I can tweak it on one, it goes across all of them, and I don't need to do any applying of grades to many, many different clips. The downside for that would be if you were working on a clip and the lighting changed or the position of the person changed dramatically, you would probably want to have different versions of that grade for those different instances. Now to start with here, we've got everything disabled, so I'm just going to bring the whole grade back online and that is what the final look is. Let's find a frame where I'm not so gormless. Okay. Now something to call out, we are lighting this in a really simple fashion. We have one big source, which is a Broncolor F160 LED light in an octa box. That's a 150 octa box, and that is my key. I'm not being lit with anything else at that point. The only other thing that we've got going on is a slight slash of light across the background, and I think we did that with a data light and a projector lens just to give a bit of interest to the brick wall back there. So really simple lighting setup, one big key light, and that's it, and then a little bit of background interest. Pretty achievable, even with modest levels of equipment. So in terms of the grade, I'm gonna disable a couple of these nodes, and we're dealing with a Blackmagic RAW clip just here, so we're gonna go over to this uh, Camera RAW settings pane. We're going with color space being Blackmagic, the gamma is Blackmagic Design Custom for this, and then I've set the color temperature 3001, and minus one for the tint, Exposure is 0 0.06, and then saturation I've boosted up a little bit, contrast I've pulled down a little bit, and that's where we're at. If we take off that node that has Film Convert on, then that is the base level look, which is flat, log, all the rest of it. So bringing that on, I haven't really done all that much. We've just chosen a Fujifilm stock there, and I haven't really tweaked any of the settings in Film Convert. I'm pretty much just using it as a LUT to convert to sort of a Rec. 709 space at the moment. Now the other things that I've got going on here do a couple of different jobs in terms of the grade. So this one just here is a general level correction and indeed if we go down there you'll see I've done a little bit of work with curves and then just a little bit of work with um, the color wheels and uh, lift gamma gain as well. Now where we really get into it is this one just here and that has quite a lot going on. Basically I am correcting out some of the red which is in the image at that point. Because I'm filming myself against a brick wall and the brick is vaguely skin tone color and I've been doing loads of talking heads at this point and my face is a little bit red, we need to do something to separate me out a bit and take some of the general red levels down. So what I've done is a little bit of work just within the primary wheels just here and then I've used a qualifier, and if we go up to the highlight tool, we could see what I've qualified out. So I'm just tweaking the skin tones and tweaking the reds in the brickwork with that particular adjustment. And then on the final node just here, just bring that on board. We'll zoom in a little bit to the jacket and you'll see what that's doing. I've got a little bit of purpleness with the other adjustments that I've been messing with that's brought out some purple in the jacket. It's not a purple jacket, it's a slightly blue jacket. So all I'm doing with that correction if we put the highlight on, you'll be able to see that, is selecting the jacket. I've used the qualifier tool again, and that's just selecting basically everything in that, but I have gone the additional step and put this power window on. Now, the reason the power window is on there, because if we do that, 
see that we're actually catching a little bit of stuff around my face and I don't want anything weird to happen around the face when I'm doing that. So I've just put a power window onto that, inverted the selection so it's protecting the face essentially at that point. And that gives me my final look. So just taking that on and off, you can see a bit of purple look on the jacket beforehand, take that down, takes it back to the bluey kind of grade that I want, gives a bit of separation, cleans it all up a bit, which is nice. If I move to the previous node, take that off, you see that level adjustment kicking in there. I just wanted everything to be a little bit brighter, taking the whites up and just generally boosting the levels. And then obviously with this one, we're adjusting the red tone in the whole thing. So there, everything's really red, really orangey, everything's just mashed together. Now with those three adjustments taken off, it isn't as clear or well-defined. And then with Film Convert, obviously that's just making the biggest change because that's what is going to be changing everything else. So by adding all of those in, we're able to get a slightly honed look Nothing crazy, I'm not tracking anything on or doing anything like that, but it just means that I'm no longer quite as muddy against the back wall and it pulls it together nicely, helps it look a little bit classier and cleaner. Now this is a fairly straightforward workflow for me. Um, there's quite a lot of things in there which you might have a little bit of trouble with if it's your first time delving into this, so obviously take your time, get used to it. The remote grade workflow is really cool and it helps to uh, unify everything when you're trying to do a grade on a long piece like this that's about 15 16 minutes long and then being able to just do those extra little touches especially like the jacket just here that for me is the one which is probably the smallest adjustment this one that most people won't notice at all because it's not the face and it's not a general adjustment to the whole image but it does help to pull it all together and give everything a tighter crisper look which is what we want I want to look crisp so that has been my talking head workflow I hope it was useful <laughs>